Black widow in her five-year-old jeans bit her. This happened in Massachusetts, but a lot of you are talking about this online. So 10 News reporter Candace Aviles took a picture of the girl's spider bite to a spider expert just to get advice. But then he told her the story doesn't even add up. It looks more like a local infection, but it's certainly not a widow bite. With a quick glance at the picture, managing director of Florida Poison Control, Alfred Aleguas, noticed a few red flags. You'll feel an immediate sting sensation. You might see a mark. It'll be sort of red initially, but it doesn't really turn black and blue. The girl's parents say their daughter never felt a bite, and it took a few days before turning black. But the bruise started to turn black a few days later. If you've been bit by a black widow, you would know within minutes. Theoretically, it could be something like a recluse bite, but even that. Usually, recluse bite starts off as round. That looks like a, some sort of bite that got infected. Alegua says while black widow spider bites happen often, it's not the most common call they get. So far this year in Florida, 19 black widow bites have been reported. Last year, 57. The venom works on nerve and muscles, and it really is sort of a neurotoxin. It causes a significant amount of pain. Usually, if you've been bitten within a very short amount of time, there's no question that you've been bitten by a black widow. So what does a black widow spider bite look like? This might be, but that's a pretty big fang mark for a spider. Look for a small bite, similar to a mosquito bite, but it'll hurt a lot more. As for where you'll find them... The garage, you see them uh, under patio furniture when they sit down, in the mailbox. Barn or an old shed or... We see a lot of them in automobiles that have been parked for a while. Your best bet to avoid bites? Be aware of your surroundings. Look where, before you put your hand in something. And if you do see it, probably the best thing to do is just smash it with your shoe. Candace Aviles, 10 News, WTSP. So what do you do if you do get bit? First of all, you can call Florida Poison Control or go to the emergency room. Now, there are two types of venomous spiders here in Florida, widow spiders and recluse spiders. There are four types of widows, the northern black, southern black, brown, and red widow. Now, the Department of Agriculture says that most bites by black widows happen in outhouses, but bites happen more often when the spider is trapped against human skin, so they bite in self-defense. Now, no species of recluse spiders are native to Florida, but three have been found here. The brown recluse, the Mediterranean recluse, and the Chilean recluse. Now, only the Chilean has been found in our area, and it was actually found in Polk County. Ooh.